Coast is clear, Walker. Then gear up. We're moving out. Where to now? Before the storms hit, Conrad needed a lookout. Somewhere he could see Dubai from miles around. There. Tallest tower in Dubai. That's where to. Hey, oxymoron people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Walker, we need to talk about what happened back there. We got Conrad's attention. What's there to talk about? I've never seen you like this before. I'm fine, Adams. We can't walk away from what we've seen here. We're not leaving Dubai until the survivors can be safely evacuated. I just need you to trust me on this. I trust you, Walker. I just don't agree with you. Lunch was good. Alright, I'll go ahead and turn on the music again. Although if they started playing Bjork, I'm turning that right back off. No, no, listen, we can't just walk away from this eclectic. We can't walk away from this! <laughs> Sounds like a firefight yeah, up ahead. Damn it! If anyone can hear me, this is Riggs! We've been ambushed by the 33rd! Need some help here ASAP! Riggs? Fuck, man! Who told the 33rd about this? This is our fault! Walker, grab that RPG! Stay with them! Need to die! Aw, it didn't do anything to the vehicle. What the hell? Whoever you are, thanks for the save. Now keep these bastards off of us. Got one! I think I just got a headshot with the RPG. Yeah, we're essentially just past that robust talk. Lily has been de deployed. Shit! I need some cover here! Heads off! Enemy moving! It's in the open! Under fire! Taking cover! Most people don't like being made uncomfortable. That that's a correct statement, Daedalus. It's almost like they're uncomfortable. Eyes on that hostile! He's moving from cover! One more down! Moving target! Fucking stay down! Yeah, sunk, sunk cost fallacy is is a real thing, with real consequences and real problems to it. Put him the fuck down! Take him down! They got Adams! Man down! Reloading! Well, congrats, Larry. I take it the project has been going smoothly. Ooh, that was three terrible shots in a row. What the hell, Lore? You're a better shot than that. Stick it out! Ugh, shit! Jesus! Need some assistance, Walker! Well, I haven't decided to give a negative yet. The story. We might. I'm thinking about it. So what happens if they die? We game over, right? Like, that's it. Damn it! Jesus, this pistol is terrible. This is the only gun I have right now, so it's gonna have to do. Yep, nope, that's game over. Okay, whatever. See, I've heard that argument before, Dalis, and I mean absolutely no offense by this, but I think that's a load of crap. Sounds like a firefight. If I might give the counter-argument that I've given 700,000 times. Just because something is deliberately bad doesn't prevent it from being bad. Up ahead. Damn it! If anyone can hear me, this is Riggs! We've been ambushed by the 33rd! Need some help here ASAP! Riggs? Fuck, man! Who told the 33rd about this? This is our fault! Walker, grab that RPG! 
That being said, I haven't given the negative yet. Mostly because well, the game hasn't actually blamed us yet. If it does, well then, yeah. It's the end of that. That's negative. Done. Like, if I was to give a negative to the, you know, the, the writer, then I would have already done so. Gotta reload! That's another! That would just make mean it gets a negative and a positive analyst. That's all that would do. Again, we haven't decided on that negative yet. Watch it! Shock troops coming over that hill! Tango down! Uh, more soldiers coming off the bank! Uh. God damn it! Under heavy fire! More soldiers coming off the bank! Damn it, Copper on Forces, piss off! Throw a steady grenade! <laughs> Fucking stay down! <laughs> I love his line changes, I really do. I mean, if I could be so bold, white phosphorus should not be used on people. End statement. You know what I mean? Just period. I don't care how legal or illegal or war crime or whatever it is. It just shouldn't be used on people. End of line. <laughs> but that's in real life. In video games, I want a white phosphorus gun. No, I don't. I don't. I'm joking. That's the last time. Get on over here. That would be awful. I would never use that gun. Reloading. I've used some interesting weapons over my years of playing video games. We all know the dubstep gun is the best gun in gaming. I'm getting some freaking ammo, dude. Jesus Christ. Do you know how scarce weapons are out here? Like, I ran out of ammo twice in that. Yeah, I just want to spray chlorine directly into people's eyes. Hmm. I think I might switch, but... They've got the shotgun. Wait, we haven't tried the shotgun. Let's go ahead and try that. Reloading. How are you waiting for? Let's try the shotgun for a bit. See how this feels. Because it's the shotgun or the AK, and that's kind of it. Captain Walker. Jeff Riggs. Now get in here before a sniper blows your goddamn head off. You're welcome. Excuse me? Maybe you didn't notice, but we just saved your ass. Kid's got a mouth, Captain. Name's Sergeant Lugo, and he's got a point. Really? So where's Agent Gould? He, uh, he didn't make it. Guess you can't save everyone, huh? I'd say you fellas owe me one. Typical company bullshit. You want to hear me out before shooting me down, son? You got a plan beyond killing everyone you see? Of course we got a plan. Kill everyone we can't see! About 100 yards from here is the city's main water facility. We were en route when we got pinned down. My op, Captain, is to get that damn water and cripple the whole damn 33rd. You really think water's the key? We're in the desert, kid. Water's the key to everything. Shit. Frag out! Take cover! I can't see! Just Damn enter. right. We're gonna kill them, and then everyone, and ourselves. Where's the old man? Why haven't you shot us yet? Right here. You son of a bitch! You're dead. Come on, you're slowing me down. Here they come, boys. Open oh sure, now I get M4 ammo. Whatever, let's try out the shotgun. In a cover-based shooter. This should be a great idea. Now give us time to escape. Look out, grenade! 
Well, there go my corneas. Yeah, I, speaking, I, I don't want to spoil, but screw this guy. So hard. Oh, that's Lugo. Sorry, Lugo. <laughs> Sorry. I'm reloading! Riggs, where the hell are you? Up here, saving your ass. Fun with that. Tango down! Come on, every god, the controls of this game. That's another. I got you back. Now watch out. No, shit! I need some cover here. Yeah, Lugo, you didn't need that jaw, right? Listen, I've got a great idea. Start calling yourself Malik instead. God damn it! Down. Actually, the shotgun's not bad. I just think I prefer the other guns. Especially given how little ammo I've got for this thing. Darth Lugo. Got this great idea. Let's bring in the drones. Just drones as far as the eye can see. Incoming heavy. Uh, I'm not dealing with that. That's a good question, Don Crow. Let me let me get all this jam out of my eyes. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Under fire. Taking cover. Give me some cover fire. Reloading. Whoop whoop whoop. Yeah, Binary Domain sounds familiar, although I actually didn't like Binary Domain that much. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I am completely out of ammo, because of course I am. Well, let's get the M4 again. Oops, that was the wrong button. Let's chill for a minute. Uh, so, okay. A better shooter than this that's still a third-person cover-based shooter? I haven't played Gears of War. That was actually the first thing I thought of. It's just, I haven't played that. I mean, I would say that Resident Evil 4 has substantially better gameplay design than this. As I talked about during the, you know, like the termination. Boys are ready. Meet me in the kitchen. Now, Jesse Ward. Jesse hates Resident Evil 4. I'm not sure why, but you know what? I respect him for it. Death to Resident Evil 4. And... To the living. Eh. Max Payne. Actually, yeah, there you go. Max Payne 2. I know that's not a cover shooter at all, but you do have, like, glass health in that game. So you are encouraged to not get hit. I never played Max Payne 3. Unfortunately? Fortunately? I don't know. Thank you either way, Jesse Ward. I will put that towards, let's see, what's a game that's like the diametric opposite of Suikoden? Borderlands 3. There you go, put it towards Borderlands 3. Get in. We don't take orders from you, company man. Easy, Luca. You know the CIA didn't start this war. Arming the locals probably didn't hurt. These people were ready to rise up. We just gave them the tools. Tools to get him killed. Just keep telling yourself that, kid. Now listen, Riggs is gonna be fine. I'm not gonna shoot him in the face with a shotgun. What are you talking about? Watch it now. We got company. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're dead.
Agent Riggs is the only CIA list left alive in Dubai. He has dealt his only chance of stopping the 33rd. He's our only hope. <laughs> Watch it now. We got company. Not shoot that guy. What's the best shooter of this decade, Dust Fighter? Actually, Ghost Recon Wildlands. There you go. Ghost Recon Wildlands is absolutely a better third person shooter than this game in every way. With the possible exception of narrative. Let me walk that back. So, because the plot of that game is not great, but it is a well-told story. Like, the cutscenes are good, the voice acting's good, I like most of the characters, and the game is unabashed in its overall theme. The main thing I dislike about the cutscenes of that game is how youtube -y they are. You know, over-edited garbage. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then it goes over here, and then it goes to this, and then it goes over here, and then it goes to this. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Pay attention to that shotgun! Shit! Tango getting close! Yeah, now I need to address Scion of the Emperor's question. But I don't understand it. So let's pause the game for me to understand this question. Hold on a second. So we are going to be skipping the Shadowbringers patch content, specifically Sign of the Emperor. So we will be doing Shadowbringers vanilla up until a certain raid against a certain multi-masked individual. And then we will cut up and skip forward to where I'm actually at in the story, which I think is 5.3, but don't quote me on that. And we'll continue from there. You're shooting at a wall, you moron! God, the fucker. But yeah, the idea is, uh, Shadowbringers, we actually streamed pre-Oblivion line, but the patch content, we streamed post. So that's up to date. I actually need to do a little bit of editing to make that document up to date with that, but that's not going to take much. It's just going to take some time, which I haven't put into. Speaking of which, I did an audit of the queue to make sure it was up to date. There were, in fact, uh, two games that were supposed to be in the queue that were not so the queue keeps getting sh larger even as people aren't even funding things someone please kill me uh what were the dlcs you treat because i don't even remember them there it is boys the dubai aquatic coliseum by my estimation there are nearly 45,000 gallons of H2O inside the boat. This is the heart of Dubai. Now we'll cut out the heart, the beast will die. Now you're catching on. My men are running interference near the front gate. They'll keep the 33rd turned the other way while we sneak in the back. You're using the locals as decoys? They understand the meaning of sacrifice. Door's locked. You know, you ever notice? I know I'm not the first person to say this. In fact, I'm not even... This isn't even the first time I've said this. You ever notice how it's usually evil people in fiction who always say, sacrifice is necessary, or we must keep... You know, it, it, some people have to sacrifice or whatever, right? Like, it's it's always evil people who say that. That might be why I don't even know what it is, Plutonia. Fresh reminder, I've actually played all the way through Ghost Recon Wildlands 100%. Twice. Once with one friend, and then once with two friends. It's a good game. It's a it's a really fun co-op game. But I don't know of any DLC in it. Uh, there was a Sam Fisher mission, but I'm pretty sure that was free. And there's the Predator, which is the worst designed mission in the entire game, which I, which was also free. Shit! They found us. What's the plan, Riggs? Hold them all. I'll get the door. That's open. Right. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Forget him. We got bigger problems. Behind us! Get the cover! I've got most of the shotgun! Watch out! Changing back! 
didn't need his arm anyways. He was using it to pack himself on the back too much. That's another. His back was getting sore. You know that's true, Azus. Picking up a hostile. Unless it's type four on Dead. Reported. What do we got? Four targets. Upper level. Golden. Flash and clear. Move. Here they come. Yep. Nope. Hi. You're all gonna die, right? So, you got a couple choices about how you die. So it's kind of up to you. I'm ambivalent, really. I'm gonna kill you one way or the other. Or I'm gonna die. Wow! I guess that was an armored person. That was a shotgun. I got two shots off before he killed me. Yeah, that's the second time they've been like, frag out, and it's it's not a frag. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Forget him. We got bigger problems. Flash out! Hey, he said flash! Holy crap. He recognized what he was throwing. I'm in shock. Let's hear it. Report in. What do we got? Four targets. Upper level. Golden. Flash and clear. Move. Here they come! I'm sorry, I know my humor's terrible, Malachor. Oh, by the way, I got Jedi Outcast running and streamable. So, whoo! Added it to the list. I know it's not on the website yet, I'm gonna update it tonight. I just thought you wanted to know. Listen, combat banter sucks and I hate it. And and video games should be dour, rock gravelly eating. Come on! <laughs> Thanks of Doom. Um, isn't that the new one, Don Crow? And if so, isn't that already on the list? Double checking. Nope, Investigations is on the list. My bad. Well, either way, thank you, Don Crow, very much. I do always appreciate. And I will jot that down for a new game. Thankfully, I know that one's uh, streamable, so I don't have to... Ask you for a backup. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's been good. It's 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 good. I, I like what they're doing with it. I really do. Oh, I couldn't have timed that perfectly. More perfectly. I don't like these guys and their armor. Thank God, I'm gonna get some freaking ammo. Uh, hopefully. Gotta reload. Ooh, so, okay. I'm gonna admit something. I've actually talked about this before during the Call of Duty Lore Run. I actually love the P90, even though it's actually kind of a crap gun. In games, in games. I have no idea how it is in real life. I've never used one in real life. But I love the P90. And I'm gonna be 100% honest, the first time I was introduced to it was in Stargate. So, I think the shotgun can suck it. We're gonna go ahead and swap to that. Reloading. Ammo, 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 ammo. Bunch of AKs. Nobody likes AKs. AKs. For when you have... AK-47s. It's not the best choice. It's AK's choice. There we go. <clears throat> Hi. 
God damn it. Space. It's space. There's a parking garage bottom of the stairs. Behind you! Remember, this is a good guy. What you wait for? Get moving. I wonder. Oh come on! Do you have any idea how much better I just made Dubai? We got Shit. a corner. Get in they there. They found us. What's the plan, Riggs? Hold them off. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Fucking kidding me! Forget him. We got bigger problems. Get to cover! Shoot him under the You got the fucker! I will not kill you, man! Watch him! Cover me! I'm reloading! That's actually kind of irritating. This is now the third time I've done this shootout. Let's hear it. You son of a submariner. I clearly finished the fight and was at the next beat. Why did I not get a checkpoint after that? I'm in the state of being angry. I'm gonna check my phone real quick. It's an email from my grandmother. Oh my goodness. My aunt just got a new knee. Which, that's not the surprising part. The surprising part is it was an outpatient surgery. That's mind-boggling to me. Taking heavy fire. I mean, she's already had her new spine. That was not outpatient surgery, consequently. Okay, are you gonna kill this guy or what? Jesus Christ, y'all are terrible! Oh my god. Got another seen one! Those guys before. That Zulu squad. The 33rd's final solution to any and all of life's problems is keep your eyes open. Once you lose a lot of people, stop for nothing. Hostile dead! Outpatient basically means you don't actually stay in the hospital. And the, it, it's, it's a general indicator that the surgery is less severe, less intensive. You're expected to be able to go home that day. At the absolute latest, the next day. Like, my nose was an outpatient surgery. A couple hours, and then I was dr being driven home. I know, right, Kara White Nice? Just pull your weight and commit some more crimes, damn it. Swear to God. All right, where's my P90? There you are. Doors open. Come on. Reloading. Right, ammo. Again. Move your ass, Walker. Eight. Yeah, the, the other big distinction, any surgery is expensive in the States, but uh, inpatient surgery is the worst because you have to pay for hospital stay. Hospital stay is probably at least 60% of the expenses you're going to have when it comes to any anything medical like that. Uh, for example, when I had my leg repaired when I was run over by a car, the surgery for that was something along $10,000. Uh, the hospital stay was closer to thirty. There's a parking garage bottom of the Behind stairs. You. Oh. Holy shit. Oh. Are you what done? You Get moving. God, I want to kill you again. Look, I ain't here to hold your hand. Nope. You're here to piss me off. <clears throat> I, 
I, I can't. I need this checkpoint. There it is. There's the checkpoint. You saw it. You saw it. Oh, I can't go back. I can't go back up. Oh, they knew. They knew. They knew. There's no way. They had a freaking... So, um, how many of you ever played uh, Vermintide? Either one or two. In both games, uh, in terms of the level design, there's something they use fairly frequently. I forget what they actually call it. But me and my friends always called it the jumps. Anytime you go over a jump, it's specifically, this is how you know you're about to enter a new area. And you cannot backtrack. There is no way, the game doesn't allow you to go back up the jump spots, right? Point of no returns is the whole idea. Um, there's a lot of good things you can do with point of no returns in level design, and a lot of games do that. But it's funny that they put a point of no return right after rigs. Like, I feel like someone actually did that on purpose. Enemy spot! I don't know. I might be giving them too much credit. That involves some playtesting and thought. And I haven't seen a lot of that so far. Got a shotgunner on the field. Not to be mean, but this game kind of sucks from a gameplay angle. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that camper. Camper. That was a camper. Where that was coming from? Listen, when I rewrite reality to. I was trying to figure out the button to execute him. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm honestly probably not going to give this game a graphics positive. I know that sounds weird because I've given graphics positives to SNES games, but that's because they were well designed graphically. And I don't think this one is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's Unreal Engine 3, and honestly, there's only so much you can do with that. Got that being said, and I've already given this positive, I did give a get positive to story for what I call visual storytelling. The game does some really good stuff with its ruined opulence, is I think how I wrote it down. There's a lot of areas that speak of the money and... Go down. And the, uh... One more down! What Dubai is supposed to be. And just the sand, right? God damn it! Got another one! Get down! Oh, that's far enough away. Yep, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, that stay for my leg was only two nights. Oh, for God's sake, would you stop throwing grenades at me? Quit it! Hang on, let me choose this car for a minute. Watch your ass! Heavy move out! Tango down! Watch you go! Watch you go! I'm over here! Yeah, it always... I don't want to say amuses me, but it's always interesting to see people's reactions to the relatively minor medical stuff I've had to go through in my life and exactly how much it cost. Wow, he didn't even flinch from that. Okay, that was a full clip. That's, um... Could you guys deal with that guy, please? Thank you. I would be more likely to give a plus for the dust in general, other than the plus I've already given for the dust in general. Son of a bitch! Line to me, Kimmick! I've seen Mass Effect 1. Don't try to tell me that game looks good. Ah, it's a turret. Did you guys deal with that? Hostile is down! 
I had to pay 240 bucks today to get a checkup to make sure my nose was fine. Just for a little bit of perspective on that. Speaking of which, thank you everyone who donated today. That's pretty much what those donations are immediately going towards. But I do appreciate it, of course. Thank you. That's all of them. Come on, we're almost there. You boys secured the trucks. Almost fired there. Left of my men. See you inside. Now that's a valid statement, Kevin. I actually agree with you on that. I don't trust him. Neither do I. But right now, Riggs and his men are the only people not trying to kill us. That's... Without water, um, everyone in this um, die. what? Your men included. Riggs isn't looking to save anyone. He's here to bury the truth, along with the bodies. Uh... I apparently cannot master... the stair. Okay, hang on. Let's let's go over here. Okay, this might actually be problematic. There's no jump button. There's no jump button. Oh my god, this might actually be a problem. This this might actually I. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Up. Oh, ah, ah. We physics our way up. I couldn't get up the stairs. I couldn't get up the stairs. <laughs> this game, I, we talked about it, right? Just put the game down. Apparently the game's trying to force that too. Jesus. Uh. <laughs> you guys are saying, now we're going to die and have to go back. I really need a checkpoint. I need a checkpoint. So give me a checkpoint game. Give me a checkpoint. Give me a friggin' check. I need this checkpoint. Pineda, you read? Yes, sir. We got insurgents gathering out front. Stay back and keep watch while we deal with them. Roger that. They don't know we're here. Ghost these fuckers. Oh, that did. Thank you, Plutonia. I'll turn the music back off. Yeah, give me a checkpoint before the stairs. Exactly. They knew. Come on, aim. A aim. Aim the gun. Oh my god, this game. Aim! Okay, I'm sorry. Can you even see that? There's some, uh... Depth of field. As soon as I mouse over him, like that, the depth of field, like, blurs out everything. But when I pull off him, it's bad. It's, 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 like, pristine. You see that? What the ass balls. Uh, clearly, I should have put this game in the freaking Jake block. <sighs> okay, we got those two. We got those two. And uh, that's it? It's not too bad. I mean, I think you're right. I think it's been happening the whole game. I'm sure it's intentional. Well, no, it's not doing under those two. Or that guy. Or that guy. Now I'm just confused. Why did it do it on that guy? What? Hey, there's a second sniper rifle. If you want a second sniper rifle, we have a second sniper. Oh, hello. I didn't even see that dude. Oh, on the Got one! Oh, hostiles coming in from ground level! Get ahead! Watch your stealth! Gotta reload! Watch my back! Ah, son of a bitch! Language! Ah. 
Oh shit! They're getting close! No, I would consider this a game that has crap gameplay. Got one! It is super jammy. Whoa! I mean, look at that jam. Look at that jam. I'm still moving! Watch him! As always, depends on how they're applied, Darth Tyron. Like, the Call of Duties do the heartbeat thing, too. Ar arguably worse than that. Tango down! But in some of them it's fine, and some of them it's not. It kind of depends on how they... how long it lasts. Well, now it's doing it again. What the... Oh yeah, the slaughtering ground stalker. I'm joking, they don't actually do that. Are my teammates even in this battle? Hostile was shot. Gotta reload. Watch out. Got one. They're eating jam sandwiches so hard. The jam is like going flying across the arena and into my face. And I'm like, ah, God. ah, ah. Okay, okay, we're okay. What? Ha what? Okay. Where are you? Damn it, where's the sniper? Sniper, spin me down! Where is this guy? See him! I hit you with some adrenaline. Shotgun You're fine. Another group. Another group below. Go Great shot. Cover. Not over yet. Under fire. Taking cover. I've heard that too, Sion. Got another. From Nolan, in my case. The interview, I mean. I can see why. It's it's a well done roll, and he actually has some decent range across it. That being said, he only does two different tones, he just kind of shifts gradually between them. Still, he does a good job of it. Gain, say, his performance. Just take your opium, you'll be fine! Okay, fine. Oh, right, right, sorry, dopamine and morphine. Because the first the, the first thing you want to do when you're in the middle of a combat zone is be on morphine. Have you ever, has, has anybody out there ever had morphine? Because I have, in, in the aforementioned leg incident. That, that's, that's an interesting experience, and honestly not what I would call a good one. That's true. Everybody loves Orphine. And by Orphine, I mean Morphine. We're Oscar Mike! No more pain. Enemy swarming in from the pool! Take him out! Ow! I need some cover here! Watch it! Shotgun headed this way! That's true, Leander. That's a good point. That's true, morphine makes me uncomfortable. And therefore, morphine is a negative to hospital. Tango down! Tango down! We gotta get to the trucks! That's our only way here! I'm getting shit up off me for a sec! I was actually that way until I started having real painkillers for this call. And that was, uh, much different. 
these guys. I mean, I actually still have some hydrocodone right here, just in case. You might think this surgery was similar to the other surgery of 1585 and the medical supplies they were using at that time. My aunt is the same way, Bregman. She has to chop her pills in half, straight up. Because the doses they offer are just too much. And, you know, you might think, well, why don't they just prescribe something smaller? Yeah, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? What? Why are we hurrying? We've killed like 20 people just here. Three. I don't like taking Fikin and if I can avoid it. Ignoring the fact that I don't enjoy the sensation of not being in control of myself, it also makes me very nauseous. That depth of field is nonsense. Look at that. Cover me! I'm reloading! Move away from the trucks! See what I want, Malachor. I want a game where we run around and like we have an eye laser, but it burns calories. So we have to, like, aggressively chug down shakes. Yes, I'm stealing with this from Dr. Medinja. We have to aggressively chug down shakes in order to kill people. Okay! Let's take those fucking trucks! I haven't seen a checkpoint in a while, and that worries me. Oh, thank God. Be damned. You're still alive. You want to stay that way? I recommend this. Step lively, people. We're about to bring this city to its knees. Exactly, Jesse Ward. God, I play the hell out of that. You want me to shoot him? Or would you rather do it yourself? Get out of this alive, he's all yours. I would much rather shoot him myself, though, if I'm being honest. There will be a price for this, Walker. I hope you're prepared to pay it. I love paying prices. Everyone, hold tight. It's gonna be a rough ride. Oh, thank God. We got contact! Fire at will! For a second, I thought the mission was gonna be shoot the civilians, and I was actually gonna stop playing the game at that moment. I will do a lot of things in video games, but if you actually ask me to start gunning down civilians who are trying to get the water I'm on, piss off! Interview review over. You know? I think we have infinite ammo, by the way. So, yeah. Do, do you like how they just disappear into a cloud of red? Shot the fucker! They blocked the road! We can't stop here, we're too exposed! I cloud your ass, but you gotta hold them off! I'm almost through! I mean, honestly, this is actually a pretty bad turret section. I'm extremely exposed, have a gun with six rounds per mag, and it's not, I don't know if it's obvious, but my firing arc is terrible. The only thing that makes this tolerable is the fact that my gun has a huge splash damage. Fuck! Oh, God damn it! Lugo, take out that fucking evil!
That's a good question, Loner. We've never had that happen post-Oblivion. Four days. This city will begin dying of thirst. Just like Briggs wanted. This is your fault, Walker. You did this, not me. No kidding, Leander. Jeez Louise. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Hang on, before we get into the bad news. Hmm. So, if we were to run into another Assassin's Creed Odyssey situation, where the better option is to just stop playing the game, I would say that's, that's, uh, I, I do think that is a gameplay negative, if that were to happen. But let's assume that this is not true. But let's assume for a moment. Define important for me, Jesse Ward. Also, your timing is fantastic. Let's assume for a moment that the only way to progress... Let, let, let's rewind. Call of Duty uh, 6, Modern Warfare 2, right? No Russian. I've talked about that several times already. Imagine if the only way to progress through that game, the only way to push through it, would be to shoot all the civilians in the airport. Now, I would put that game write the hell down because piss on that but more to the point i feel like that would be a gameplay and a story negative at that point see in assassin's creed odyssey's case the game sucked so done but if something is trying to force me to do something like that in order to be able to progress a mandatory blockade remember we've talked about this before things that are mandatory are magnified usually uh, not always but usually you put something bad in my path and force me to step on it, screw you. Yeah, actually, it's a, that's another perfect example. KOTOR 1, Knights of the Old Republic 1. Imagine if you had to kill Mission. You had to, and, and in the horrible way that you do in that game, if you choose that choice. Imagine if that was mandatory. Screw the hell out of that. Railroading is not, you're right, Ross, but railroading is not inherently bad. It is what, you, it is, it's like any other tool. It's what you do with it. But if you railroad me into that kind of nonsense... Um, die. <laughs> Not literally. I, I don't want anybody to die. But, like, you get my point? Screw that. So I would say, if they actually did force me... Yeah, I know a lot of people did peek them out printed. If, if, um, if the game forced me to murder those civilians just now, uh, then we, we would quit the game, and I would give a negative to gameplay and to story, and be done with it. We do our audit right now. Like four things from the end. Yeah, Far Cry 3 has I mean, we can think of a lot of examples of games that ironically don't do this. Point in fact, I'm not sure that I can think of an example of a game that forces me to do something that I really disagree with some with, with right? Like I, I can't think of something. Even in this case, when we're firing the white phosphorus, the we're shooting at the, the enemy forces, which is still bad, obviously, but we are not saying die, civilians die. So even that is something that's like, okay. And yeah, I agree with what you said that earlier, actually, Hazardous. Uh, earlier, you mentioned that, and I'm going to go and say that out loud. If the, if, the, if the devs really wanted Walker to do it, not us, Walker, make it a cutscene. You've cutscened plenty of the game, including the trucks getting destroyed just now. You know, when, when we're trying to get the water out of here. We didn't have a choice in that, and so you put in a cutscene, and there we are. We're good. We're done. Yeah, Dragon... So, to, to make my point a little bit further, if I might be so bold, I can name three games right off the top of my head that let you do some just stupidly, horrifically evil things in them. Dragon Age Origins... <laughs> Sorry, Dragon Age Origins, KOTOR 1, and Fallout 3. I was just laughing because two of those are Bioware games. In all three of those games, um, there's some really messed up evil stuff you can do that I don't do and never will because I don't have to. I am substantially more tolerant of that kind of thing if it's there because, well, we want to make it be an option for players because players like to be evil. Okay. I, I You know what? I can buy that. <sighs> Anyways, um, I would say Finding Nemo is probably more important based on how you define that, Jesse Ward. As I will discuss, I'll, I'll be discussing the finances of Pixar throughout the Pixar series this coming year. So, 
I will be mentioning that when we get to Finding Nemo, which was quite, quite successful. Um, so here's what I would do, Plutonia. Actually, I could change it relatively easily. It wouldn't be a huge change. Here's what you do, okay? Make it so that... This, this, would, this would take a little bit of rejiggering, but make it so that, you know, you're there. Makarov is not there. He's not with the group. Makarov is, is your getaway, right? He's over in the truck when he... So, yeah, exactly. He's the getaway man. So you're not there with Makarov, and you're there, and oh, no, and oh, gosh, what am I going to do? Oh, my men, oh, the, the others, they got gut down, and you, you shoot the guys. You shoot the rest of the team, right? You shoot the rest of the terrorists. Let's actually call them what they are. And then it's like, and then you don't kill any civilians. And it's like, oh my God. And you try to fight your way out and shoot your way through the cops. And you can see how it would take a little bit of work to make that happen. But I think that is something that could have been done in order to offer another path, which still leads us to getting to the getaway van and still leads to. So. No one is just it. It up That's right. Get as much of it as you can. While you can. Dude, I'm of course I'm a hero. Where are you, Riggs? You bastards talking. Riggs? Are you? Hi, Riggs. Over here. Riggs? Where are you? I can't see. Hang on. I'll get you out of there. In pieces, of course. Forget it. There's no point. The water's gone. That's all that matters. <laughs> Fuck. This ain't how it's supposed to end. He was right about you. Look, if people find out what he did... The whole region will declare war on us, and we'll lose. I'm sorry, can we stop with the shaky cam? Is this how this is supposed to be? Real question. Like, is this a 60 FPS bug? Because this is insane shaky cam. Now the world will never know. You're insane. It's funny. Ghoul said the same thing. What I did may not have been nice. But it was right. Besides, it's not like I'm walking out of here. Just do me a favor, huh? Don't let me burn. One bullet. Go on, Walker. Do it. Please. Should we shoot him? <laughs> the guy who just pretty much guaranteed the slow and horrible death of how many tens of thousands of people who are still left in here. <laughs> I can't reach his balls. They're currently crushed under a truck. Can you shoot yourself? Oh, uh, later, Dream Whisper. We can. Yeah, you know what? That sounds appropriate. <laughs> Sorry. No wine and roses. Why are you just standing there? Come on! See you around, Riggs. Peace. For fuck's sake, Walker! Please! I'm begging you! Yeah, it's it's funny how this works out, really. But I kinda Walker. need this. Walker! Walker! Ah! I'd save your lungs, cause that's ah! Ah! I got an achievement for that. Uh, 
Adam? Uh, that's not Adam. I hope that's not Adam. No, okay, this isn't my team. Thank God. Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, in fairness, it is kind of personal. Walker, come in. Yeah, I'm here. Thank God. The 33rd showed up before we found you. We had to run. Started to think you didn't make it. I got lucky. And Riggs? Dead. Good. No, not good. He fucked us. Fucked everybody. Thanks to him, everyone in Dubai will be dead in a few days. The city needs to be evacuated ASAP. Yeah, I'd love to know how you plan on doing that. We'll go. Oh, my bad. Am I interrupting? Damn it. Sit tight, Lugo. I'm on my way. I'll make sure he gets the message. Go fuck yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep it clean, buddy. This is, after all, a family program. Rated 8 for everyone thirsty. I, I have one magnum round. And I'm dead. What do you want me to do here, game? Oh yeah, I'm gonna jot down... I see the gun now. I'm gonna jot down the negative for the camera. Oh, I already jot down the negative camera. That camera wobble is only intermittent, but when it's there, it's just really bad. Alright, I've got six rounds now. Great. Caught that, thanks. That doesn't sound good, Marty. Don't be shy now. It's just you, me, and several thousand very thirsty listeners, and we're all dying to know. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, what you gonna do? Yeah, Marty gonna die when they come for you. Wanting water and buckets and things like tools. Oh, what you gonna do when they come for you? Oh, oh, oh Marty, Marty, Marty. Mm. We'll go with the M4. And... As much as I hate to, we'll take the AK. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be capable of getting the good ending in Hollow Knight. What the fuck? I got him! Get off of me! Shut it! Oh, that was interesting. It's okay. It's okay. The hallucinations are only getting worse. <laughs> it's over, Lieutenant. Put down your weapon, and Sergeant Lugo here lives. Don't listen to him! I said shut up! Walker, if you can hear this, they got Lugo. 33rd's got me pinned down. I can't get to him. I need to hear now! Can you hear me, Lieutenant? I'm not fucking around! Surrender now, or Sergeant Lugo dies! Come on, Walker! Where the fuck are you? You hold the line! Kill him first. Whoa! I'll tell you showed up! You're welcome! Now get back in the fight! On the Sorry about the delay. More I had to kill five people with six bullets. No looting. How about you? Same over here. Attention, men of the 33rd. Delta Force action figures are now on sale. Please, thank you. Delta Force still available in the mall. He's shooting at me. Get the frickin' turret guy. Oh my god. Enemy is KIA. I did it just for you. Uh, Ross? Reloading! 
Hit refresh, Don Crow. That might be Twitch's end, because that happens sometimes. The audio do sync. Fucking stay there! The gully's been down over here! Stand back! We got it! There was a lot of ammo in there I wanted. Huh. Oh, for God's sakes. Any gameplay positives? No. And it's... Move it out! I know I say this a lot, but it always makes me sad to admit. I just got a bunch of ammo. God damn it, game. Apparently that worked on shutting him up, because he hasn't started talking since the checkpoint. It's actually funny. Anyways, all I was trying to say is it always makes me a little bit sad when I can't think of gameplay positives. Because I'm just... I, I, I get your point. Uh, whoever said that? Um, Malachor. Just not sure I agree. I'll have to think about it. Okay. Enemy is KIA. Careful! Soldiers heading your way! Go, movement! Pin down, Walker! They're on your side! See if you can flank them somehow! You got Wait a minute. I mean, honestly, the sound design isn't really all that good from a gameplay angle. It's good from a story angle. It actually adds to the flavor, the tone, the atmosphere. I, what? Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Closing in! Are you kidding me? I don't need this shit right now! They still got I'm busy! Get pretty hairy over here! I said I'm working on it! I suppose, uh, epilepsy warning. I figured this would have stopped by now. That's discerning me, and I don't have epilepsy issues.
You're fine. Thanks. Yeah, no, that wasn't actually dynamic lightning. That was just bright dark, bright dark. Like you could tell because you could still see like muzzle flashes and the like during the dark part. Period. I have not played Bulletstorm. Not on purpose. I just never got around to it. <clears throat> You pull that crap on me again, game, I'm gonna straight up give you a negative. In fact, as is, I'm gonna jot that down for an aggregate negative, because what the hell? I... No, I'm a pretty big fan of FPSs. But then again, I'm a fan of everything. Except, like, dating sims, I guess? <laughs> That's probably that. You know, plenty of people uh, Hang in there. I'm on it. tend to assume that I'm not a fan of certain types of games because we don't cover them very often. But that's decided by you all, not me. The KFC one was awesome, but that's neither here nor there. Got one! shoot far enough down to hit those people. That's actually funny. At least I could disengage from this one. Honestly, I'm starting to think that, yeah, he's just popping these little soldiers out. I could take that analogy into some very unpleasant places, but I'm not going to. Listen. You just don't understand how amazing... Oh god, what's his name? I suddenly can't think of his name. Kurtz? Uh... Yeah, Kurtz. You just don't understand how charismatic Kurtz really is, okay? He has got it going on. Do I have no... A I have no ammo here at all. I'll just use this incredibly terrible turret that I can barely aim. And has a very limited attack range. Or turning range, whatever. Oh, I think I just killed my own guy. My bad. We cannot escape anguish. It is what we are! <laughs> what is glass but tortured sand? What is this gonna end? Aw, you guys are tugging at my heartstrings. Then again, you bitches had it coming. This section, uh, might suck. I'm thinking about this, because I may have to use the turret, 
and it really sucks to use. Okay, that helps a little. I still can't aim down, but at least I can aim at all. So vaguely point in a direction and watch the tracer rounds, which is what I've been doing. Been doing exactly? Yeah, this is, I mean, turret sections kind of have a bad reputation, for good reason. But there is a difference between a good, whoa, between a good turret section and a bad turret section. This is, this is not a good turret section. You know what? That's an interesting thought. On the move! Careful! Got a ton of ammo crates over here! Watch your aim! Go straight by! You're cooked! Hands all on the roof! Take him out! Yeah, it's it's pretty loud, I agree. <laughs> Shotgun headed this way! Got him. One more down! You're clear! Zipping over! Me too! Step back! The really sad part is this could actually be even worse. Ditto, Leander. One of my favorite things to do. Sorry, one of my favorite things to do when I'm playing co-op game with PAX. One of us drives, one of us shoots. We vary it up a little bit, but it's a lot of fun. You okay? Fine. Don't worry about it. What about you two? I, now that the action sequence is over. Fine. You hear that? Yeah, Halo's another good one for that. When I was playing with Shadow Machine. <laughs> I wish I could have done all those campaigns full co-op. That would have been fun. Um, I 
Let's test it. I've been testing it periodically with Jero's house. Came from behind that door. Get ready. Go! Drop your fucking weapon! Do it! Okay, now! Okay. Don't shoot. I surrender. Who's this guy? What the hell is this? Somebody doesn't want to play soldier anymore. What's your name? Staff Sergeant Josh Forbes, service number 867530. You are not a prisoner of war. Far as I'm concerned, you're not even a fucking soldier. You, you can't. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Now, the asshole on the radio, where's he broadcasting from? Don't bother. He's guarded. You'll never reach him. Our problem, not yours. There, top of the Transimerance building. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 is another good example of that kind Ugo. of thing. We reached that tower. Think you can work the broadcast system? One mass evacuation coming up. Won't be anyone to evacuate. What the fuck did you say? Be smart, Captain. This is the desert. How long do you think these people will survive without water? Jesus. All the Colonel wanted was to keep people alive. Remember that. We'll keep that in mind next time he tries to kill us. Dubai's running out of time, gentlemen. Let's move. Yeah, we totally got this. So who's gonna take care of the DJ? What the hell are you talking about? He ain't passing the torch. We're still in the man's mic. Three soldiers against a fat ass with an iPod. I'm less than worried. Hey. I expect the unexpected, Adams. Adapt and overcome, bitch. Hey, whatever's necessary. Where to now, Lugo? We'll do what we must. Across the rooftops. Should take us right to it. Sounds good. Hey, look, we're up again. Huh. Blow up. Incoming helo. It's okay, this allows us to descend again. That's a first. Where's it headed? Radio tower, most likely. Reinforcements. Great. Just what we need. Hey, be thankful for the extra target practice. Of course, the cutscene didn't give me any ammo, so that sucks. Sounds like a sniper. Pretty close by the sound of it. Let's step lightly. Yeah, we are way up here, somehow. Cities are in control, like the first storm all over. All that work for nothing. Colonel said we can always rebuild. That's the point. Won't be anyone left alive. Please, you're being a moody cut today. You know if Crosby's on duty. They don't know we're here. Captain Crow too. Suppressor. I actually do tend to like we do what we must uh, storytelling. But it's one of those things you need to navigate very carefully, because it's a little bit too easy to do it in different ways, right? This is clearly not, we do what we must. That's not what's going on here. This, this is... Ah! Um, <laughs> I just wanted to comment on that, because I, I can think of a few good stories that are centered entirely around the concept. No problem. Follow my lead, Luca. Oh, that's who saw me. This ain't a social visit, asshole. You think you're so scary? Well, I got news for you. I'm reloading. I'm not stuck up here with you. You're stuck up here with me. This this is not. Up oh, and we gotta kill the music. Yeah, sorry, I was going to make a Rorsha Ro Rorschach reference, and then I got distracted because of music. Then my mother messaged me. I was wondering, period. I'm sorry it took so long to get home, comma. Did you have a good visit at least? Question mark. Uh, here. Let's 
true, Dr. Winter. Still doable, of course. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is Doom Eternal's DLC, specifically. More tangos coming in from the zip line. Uh, there's a lot of good Doom music, but for some reason, this is just the one that I default to, because I love this song. I need some cover here! Got one! Like, to me, and I know this is antithetical, but I stand by it. This mu this specific song embodies everything I actually really like about Doom music. Cover me! I'm reloading! That strange pattern thing. Because it's so repetitive, but it's not. Like, Doom music has always been about that concept of repeating a specific section, but not actually being repetitive, right? I, I, I'm not a music person, so I don't know how to explain this. Like, it's just the same general beat and tone and thing over and over and over, except each specific iteration varies constantly. Yeah, it's just constant alterations. And I love it. And again, that's, that's just kind of Doom music in general. It's just not the only one that does that. It's just, to me, this is like the ideal of that concept. And yeah, Doom Eternal, Doom 5, had just really good music in general. So did Doom 4, for that matter. Uh, I, I don't know the terminology, Kay. I've studied music. I've made music, I've played music, I've analyzed music, I've reviewed music. I don't know the words. Like, we, we, when we do the music comparisons for the FFs, it's like, well, this is... Because uh, I don't know what to call it. Sniper Duel! With an automatic rifle. As it should be. Yep, there you are. Hey, buddy. Right, hold no, absolutely, you're right, Dr. Winter. As absolutely horrible as it sounds, the dark spawn are the kind of threat, you know, it's there's a concept I've talked about a few times. Hang on a second, there's a concept I've talked about a few times. It's called when the when the scale means the rules go out the window. Um it usually doesn't come up because it's pretty much a fictional thing, right? But if there's a giant meteor coming that's going to wipe out all life on the entire planet, and the only way to destroy it is to kill 100 civilians, the ru the general rules go out the window, right? Like Because the scale is so severe and so horrible that you, at that point it's like, okay, fine. <laughs> now, if a game made me do that, I still wouldn't do it. But you get the point, right? It's the same thing with the Darkspawn. The Darkspawn are a level and severity of awful and are an apocalyptic thing, so you, you kind of do need to stop the dark spawn. I've already eaten some of the toffees you sent me, period. And some of the almonds, period. And by toffees, I mean taffies, but I'm an idiot. Is that everyone? Absolutely not, Ventures. Because I can do that. And like, I'm sorry. If I had to kill my niece to save the world, we're all dead. This is a mistake, Walker. You'll never get these people through the storm wall. I have to try, Kurt. It's the only way. And you'll damn them all. Oh, shit. Uh. Walker! What are you doing? Let him see. You can't do this, man. Oh, damn it! No! No! <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck did you do, Walker? No, then. Come on, guy. Listen, we all know that pomegranate is the best fruit. Okay, I think this isn't a combat section. We're going to turn the music back off again. We'll turn it back on in a moment. 
Everything's fine, everything's you know, fine. I hear what you guys are doing, and it just gets me to wondering. Who goes around bashing people's heads in? With a gun, no less. It's unnecessary and impractical. Laugh it up while you can, Chuckles. Don't mind if I do. Ha 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 Oh, swallow my gum. Uh -huh. Ah, bastard. <laughs> Agreed, Dr. Winter. Mon Mango is awesome. Hey, look, we're up again. <laughs> it just keeps happening. There's our tower. A lot of gun camp in that roof. Shit, can't zip over until we clear it off. Not a problem. All right, fine. Adams, you spot him. Lugo and I'll knock him down. My kind of plan. Pick your mark, Captain. I got the other. Ah, Hostile is down! Four shooters coming out of the door that in the guy? back! You shot that guy? I like that guy. Oh, you gotta reload! Turret, right side! You know the irony of it? I was thinking to myself, you know, the gameplay in this game sucks, right? And it really feels like they just kind of tacked on the gameplay to tell the story, right? Okay, that's getting a little strange. Enemy on the move! Clear out that fucking 50 cow! Take him out! He's dead. But like, why didn't they make the game shorter then? No, Willie Pete, W P, Mr. Red. Yeah. Think about it. Well, yes, they're God the fucker! I didn't come up with that terminology Most either. He's dead. He had a wife and kids. You can breathe easy. Well, that's all of them. Please think of the children. Do you? Is it a mandate that you keep being a jackass when we kill all your people? Yeah, I don't remember when I first heard the term Willy Pete. You guys are coming to clean this up, right? Agreed, Oxymoron. A Telltale style of type game for this style of game, for, for this type of story, would actually work really well. I don't know what you're thinking, but Telltale games are all about choice. No, they're not. <laughs> remember, Telltale games are all about deciding the lane you're in, right? So we might be able to decide the specific and st style and play style of of Walker, of how he approaches these things, but we'd still be on the rails just like we are on this one, right? A hold of it. Ha <laughs> I guess hilarious. Ah, oh, jeez. Also, Gallagher is not that funny. Where are you coming from, man? Is it the video games? I bet it's the video games. Oh, for Christ's sakes. That's my reaction to that. Did you not die? Gotta reload. You're probably right, Kira White Noise. Yeah, exactly, Kemic. Just, just all the story, none of the jank. Whoosh. And no, we are totally handsome, Jack. We're the hero, okay? We're the hero! I don't think I ever got to know that, period. Or maybe I inherited it from her. Exclamation mark. Who knows, period. We're on borrowed time, gentlemen. No one Conrad. Reinforcements are en route as we speak. This is all you, Lugo. I want that radio 5x5 five five in less than two. You got me? Don't worry about me. I can do my fucking job. You say that, I'm not sure I believe you. Also, crap people, crap people. Okay, we're good. There's a cathedral on the back of that turtle. Hey, 
Hey, guys. <laughs> like that's like that's a real gun. I mean, come on. Clock's ticking, Lugo. Yeah, I'm on it. This deck's custom, so I'm gonna need a minute. What's that sound? Those voices? Easy there, G.I. Joe. That's just a cloud echo. We hear that shit all the time. A what? It's a signal bouncing off the storm wall. Hey, now. Check out the whiz, kid. Eh, that was textbook. You're the guy who built a citywide broadcast system for spare parts. That's impressive. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> you said it, not me. Like, I see where you boosted the transmitter, but... How far does this thing really go? To infinity and beyond! Or the storm wall. Same difference. Now you're just fucking with me. Oh, ye of little faith. You are live and on the air, my good man. Give it a shot. Wow. That was easier than I expected. Thanks. Get the fuck off me, man! Have you lost your fucking mind? Are you really this fucking naive? He kept the 33rd on our ass this whole time. He wasn't gonna let us just walk out of here. I did what was necessary. You don't get to make that call. Well, fuck you. I just did. That's enough. We'll deal with this later. To anyone who can hear me. I'm the commander of an American evacuation force. We're here to rescue you. But first, the 33rd will pay for what they've done. I'm disappointed in you, Walker. No one leaves Dubai. I tried. 1,300 men, women, children dead because of my arrogance. And now you want to finish off the rest? If you will not learn from my mistakes, then there's nothing more I can do. Your butcher's bill is high enough. Goodbye, Captain. Fuck! Take cover! So we must be evacuation. What now? We're trapped. That helo's our only way off this roof. There's a lot of gun between here and there. Into yeah, the three guns. Nope, nope. You Six. Know. I'll cover you from here. <laughs> like hell! There's no time to argue. Now go! Lugo's right. Come on! I would actually agree with that, Sierra Mike. As I mentioned earlier... Can we reach that helo, you start running! The earlier versions of the story were way more Heart of Darkness. Ow. Keep him off me for a sec! Oh yeah, this is probably a good time to pull the music back in. Dead. Are you sure? You should double check. Just in case. We're almost outside, Lugo! They're already waiting for you! Really? Here? <laughs> okay. Thankfully, there's skippable cutscenes, or I'd be pretty pissed off. Oh yeah, I noticed that. We're getting a little more vicious about our kills. Or execution, excuse me. Uh, uh, what's gonna have to do? Because I need to swap for the P90. There we go. Well, you see, Hazardous. We're almost outside, Lugo! They're already waiting for you! One, four dead. They're here. I hear the door. Everyone, get ready. In the doorway! They still have to stop fucking around! Say no, I don't consider this game edgy. Although I should probably mention that I usually think of that as an insult. 
And it isn't. I, I shouldn't be, so. Why would you do that, Gary? Wait, you play Dark Souls, of course you would do that. I define edgy as what I usually say out loud as edgier. Cringy, stupid, trying too hard, you know, whatever insult words you want to add there, you get the idea. On your right! Ah, go, go, go. Oh, hello! Oh, I am dead! I couldn't even move. But, oh my god! Lugo, the second we reach that helo, you start running! Don't worry about me! Just get there! Here we go! Where's my P90? Again. Hatred. The game. That's edgy. Or edgier. They're already waiting for you. Game, the door's open. I'll try and ah! Take ah! Ah! I need oh, I can help us. Game. Game. Oh my god, it does not know how to deal with that at all. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly, Sierra Mike. Yeah, no, I I don't like Kate Skywalker either, but I would never call him Magi. To to agree with you essentially. Another on the Reloading. Keep them off me. I've already given it a plus and a nothing. Oh, whoop, whoop. Wow, we've been listening to this song for 11 minutes. Wow. Uh, what was that other one? Gladiator? There it is. Fire! Waiting on your target. Move on! Let's go! Got more coming from the balcony! I got you! Take him out! I'd call Kate stupid, but reckless is a part of that, so I'd agree with you, Vigilant. Uh, shit! Swordfish. That's edgy. I agree with that. I've actually seen that film. Don't ask me why. Because I couldn't ask you. Got another one! Moving! That was in the me and mom are going to the theaters every week period of my life. Which is a period of my life I liked. I got exposed to a lot of cinema. But some of it was, you know. Heads up, uh -huh. shotgun, coming for us! On your right! Come on! You're welcome! I need you to focus on that target! I got him! Waiting on your target. Throw in a sticky! Moving target! Uh -huh. Got the fuck up! You know, it's actually funny. Between the Mechanicus test, the Morrowind test, and the Doom test, we've got everything covered at this point, don't we? Like, that just covers every type of game. Really. Kill the shooter by the fuel tanks! 
Silver should ready! Incoming! Gal's theme doesn't go with anything, though. Okay, you're good, you're good! Let's do this! You've never heard of the Mechanicus test? What the hell, Ross? I have clearly not been doing my job as the Lord Runner properly. Let me pull up the Mechanicus playlist here, and let's go with the boss song. Eh, that one. Also, I actually did like Ezra. I didn't like him briefly, but that was a pretty brief period in the story, so I'm just going to let it go. shooting at me. Oh, hang on, let's pause the music. Start her up, Adams! Right. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, Mechanicus soundtrack was legit. Already on the move! Cover me! Me too, Nero's ass. On the move! Try not to fucking shoot me! Yeah! I liked... Okay, fine. Anyways, this is Mechanicus music. It's an interesting mix of organ, choir, and dubstep. It works weirdly well. I, I don't know why it works, but it totally does. Here they come! On the move! Try not to fucking shoot me! This gun is also drifting down, by the way, just like the pistol was. That is weird to deal with. You son of a bitch! Behind me! They're coming up behind me! Watch! My man! Fuck! They're everywhere! Mission objective. Bring it down. Why? I want to see what this gun can do. Yeah, we're dead. how it has to de-render previous shots before they're done being animated. Just 
attention! Adams, get us the fuck out of here! Yes, sir! Shit! What is it? We got company! Déjà vu. Wait, this isn't right! I'm showing you! No, no, I mean we did this already! What do you mean? Ah, fuck it! It's nothing! Just shake these fucking guys! You got it! We did actually do this already. Oh, by the way, there you go, there's your proof, one of two pieces, that this is all, you know, purgatory or whatever. Sidewinder! Headed right for us! Well, that was fun. There's no way we could live through that, of course, so... Walker. Captain Walker, can you hear me? Uh, Colonel? Open your eyes, Walker. I need you to see what you've done. Dubai should have died long ago. We were ordered to abandon these people. Instead, we chose damnation. Not all of us. What? Who's there? One of your victims. The one who was just following orders. You gave us no choice. There was always a choice. You just fucked it up. I... I mean, we tried to save you. Deep down, you knew we all had to die. Shut up, Graves. Nobody liked you. This wasn't my fault. Captain. Lugo. Help. There were over 5,000 people alive in Dubai. The day before you arrived. How many are alive today, I wonder? How many will be alive tomorrow? I thought my duty was to protect this city from the storm. I was wrong. I have to protect it from you. Yeah, I'm here. I'm fine. I'm God still. damn it, Walker. If you're alive, then fucking answer me. Colonel. What? It's Adams. Fuck, man. Where the hell are you? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Lugo with you? Nah, he's been dark since the helo went down. Fuck. Well, where are you? Let's follow the smoke. All right, I'm heading your way. Hey, you chose this. You monster. Always with the deagle.
got this son of a bitch. Hold on! Unless I'm playing Lara Croft, I'm not usually a huge fan of the Beagle. That's one! Cover me! I'm reloading! Actually, yeah, I'll agree with that. There's one other case I liked the Deagle, and that was in the Matrix. It's funny considering how much effort and work they had to put into the one slow-mo shot of Smith shooting the Deagle without recoil. It gets across the point beautifully, but they can only do it the one time because of how much work it took to do that. Take him down! I got you back! I don't remember if Blade used a deagle or not. Okay, that's bad. To this guy, God damn! I hate those armored jackasses. <laughs> Let me guess. We're gonna go all the way back. Look, sir. We've got movement. Well, it looks like it's right after I rezzed him. So that's something. No, Robo's tall. The writer said that that's his favorite interpretation, but he also said flat out that you should make your own interpretation and to not take his interpretation as codified law. Which I will give him respect for that. They're flanking! Adams, watch my goddamn back! Taking him down! I got your back! One more down! Got this son of a bitch! Yeah, I agree, Kira White Noise. Hey, there's Big Boy. So I was sort of assuming the head would be, you know, a weak point. You cannot understand, nor do you want to. Look, sir! We've got movement! Shotgun on the moon! Flame cover fire! Spot right flight cover me! Cover me! I'm reloading! Fire! 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 
will beat it today, Ross. And the question is, how quickly can I beat it? See, I'm actually kind of in a hurry at this point, which is funny, because I keep dying. <laughs> do you even remember why you came here? You know what I should do. Oh, absolutely, Carolinas. No. Come on, you were doing them. You were doing the load screens. Don't make me look them up. But yeah, I do think this game is too long. I do think it's bad. Oh, hey. Radio Man is dead. His broadcast tower has been destroyed. Evacuation may now be impossible. That's still not what I was going for. Oh, uh, whatever. Got uh, this game absolutely has a bit of a padding problem, which, speaking of which, I should jot that down. Padding, question mark. I mean, I've wiped out everything here except for Armored Dude twice now. I know, right, Kira White Noise? Ironically, I would say the same thing about Modern Warfare 3. As much as I praise Modern Warfare 1 and 2... Well... That's one! Listen, Walker was always pure evil! He was actually the devil. Like, specifically, the devil. I'm sure the game wants us to think he was once a good person. Although someone who breaks apart this quickly in a combat scenario at Captain Rank is certainly questionable, isn't it? That's valid, Plutonia, which is also why I want to chew on it a bit before I actually give that negative. Get your fucking hands down! Got that Knees it is. We need to keep moving. Can you walk? I'm fine. Good. We need to find Lugo, then we take care of Conrad. I think we can still save these people, and I'm not gonna let him stand in our way. Right, because that plan's worked out great so far. Reload! I wasn't asking your opinion, Lieutenant. Well, Last of Us 2, ironically, was also a game that was padded. Now, that actually was padding in that case, but, and kind of short. I don't know which one I prefer. Excuse me. Adams, where the hell are you guys? Pinned down in Conrad's backyard. I got no weapon, and my fucking arms broke. Lugo. Lugo! Fuck, I lost him. Signal puts him somewhere north of here. As a start, let's move. Get into cover! Eyes and ears, now! Got a sniper camp in that boat. Need to get closer, we're gonna take him out. Got one more. Shut him down! They're going down! He's dead! like that depth of field changing every time I aim and not aim. We have not, Sierra Mike. I've heard of it before, but right this second I can't think of it, so feel free to share. Because I, I, I can't... I can't think of it right now! 
My stupid meter's too high. I'm getting chewed up over here! No, Malakar. It does make it worse, so I guess that's something. That's what! I need to compare this to Resident Evil 4. Tango moving eyes wide. There we go. Tango. Ow. Let me choose some concrete for a second. Kill that fucking sniper! Taking him down! Under fire! Oh yeah, that goes into what we were talking about earlier, I jumped from hand. Just stick with it, I swear. I know it's a generic boring shooter, but stick with it. Grenade out! Shit! Good job, Adams. Wait, people care about Dubai? Oh that I'm <laughs> sister. Why does that system even exist here, Mike? I, I used to know the answer to that question. I don't anymore. Because I remember uh, a friend of mine, she told me about that. She was in the Marines. And I was like, why? And she explained it to me, and I was like... 15 years ago. God, it's been a while. Thank you, Jonathan Freeloader, very much always for the sub. Much appreciate. Much obliged. If you want to put that towards something, please let me know. Uh, yeah, not long, Gimmick. Very not long. Move it out! <gasps> I'd say a uh, day, maybe. Pay attention to that shit gun! Reloading! Him. Keep him off of me! That was a little close, and we haven't had a checkpoint lately. Excuse me! On the move! I'm actually kind of with Riker on that, too, to be completely blunt. Which is part of why I think that's a silly system. Like, if someone gets to a position where they're on a ship they like, with a crew- Sorry, Adams. With a crew they like, and they're, they're good. They've reached as far as they want to. And they want to keep serving. Done, right? Now- in order for that to actually work, that would require, you know, people with a brain on the, uh... I forget what it's called. The personnel side of things. The human resources side of things, right? Fucking hell! That's all of them. Walker, Adams, you guys still out there? We read you, Lugo. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Where are you now? Hold up in some half-buried yacht. The one with the pissed-off soldiers swarming around it. You can't miss it. All right, keep out of sight. I'm coming to get you. Gotta move, Walker. Patrol headed this way. That's... I have a tremendous amount of respect for the armed forces, but uh, Taking some heavy fire here. that sounds like nonsense to me, Sierra Mike. I, I was just thinking the same thing here at one noise. Like, we are incredibly skilled people. Sorry, Adams. That's one! And yet, they just, yeah, they just fall to pieces inside of a bay. Reloading! Shotgun! Oh, we this way! Sniper! You know the kind of story this reminds me of? And I swear Star Wars has actually done this at some point. A story... Actually, Final Fantasy X did this, now that I'm thinking about it. It's a it's fun if it's a ten two. Excuse me. It's a story about where you're totally the elite and you're total. What the hell was that? Um, you're totally the elite and you're totally awesome. And like the the in, in universe, they were telling them that all the time. But actually, they were just newbies who were being given special training and special dispensation, and so naturally they fall apart completely very quickly. Star Trek kinda did that with Red Squad. Not quite the same idea. 
What's funny is it was Red Squad in Star Trek and Crimson Squad in FF10 too. Anyways. Oh yeah, Stormtroopers. They're totally elite. I know that ship has long since sailed, but I still prefer the interpretation that Stormtroopers actually are the elites. But, you know, whatever. Star Wars rewrite. Get hyped. Yeah, we look lovely, don't we? Just look at our face. Ugh. Uh, where am I going? Oh, holy crap. He's dead. This is slowing me down. On the move! I just want to kill all of them. All of them! Jesus Christ, what are you guys doing? The 33rd's losing their shit right now. Focus, Lugo. Is there somewhere else you can hide? I got a refugee camp nearby. I'll hold up there till you finish stirring the shit. Sounds good. We'll regroup once the area is secure. Waste of a bullet. Yeah, I know it's a term that I originally got from Metal Gear Solid, but the concept of on site procurement is the sort of thing Delta is supposed to be really good at. See the aforementioned Ghost Recon Wildlands for an example of on site procurement. Gonna pull through this. It's a fucking broken arm. We both lived through worse. What sequels, Dr. Winter? Damn well, it's not what I'm talking about. There's something on your mind. Why don't you say it already so we can get back to work? This whole mission is fucked. We just took out a tower full of American troops. They didn't leave us any choice. You didn't leave us any choice! What the fuck happened to us, man? Nothing. We're fucking soldiers. Oh, I see. My mistake. Nice patch job there. The sequel. Striker heading off. Oh, right. Um, uh, uh, hang on. We got a heavy incoming! I really wanted that ammo. Don't know if it was worth it! Got him! Bang out! Damn it! Gotta reload! I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I, I don't know why, Dr. Winter. I misread that as Star Trek, and I'm like, what sequels? Right. So, yes, Dr. Winter, is the answer to your question. By which I mean we'll have to eject the sequels entirely, because we'll be, you know, doing our own thing. And the EU didn't really have room for the sequel trilogy, and we're going to be doing more EU than AU. Striker heading our way. So... Fuck us called in a heavy! It's weapon expert coming in! Keep him off me for a sec! Hey, could you not? Thanks. Appreciate it. Language, Jesus. Damn! I I guess I was just missing. Who are who are the Vong, Malakor? Yeah, the Star Wars rewrite is almost a guaranteed to be our next big project after the Star Trek rewrite. Striker heading our way. Get to that yacht. Fuck! Edge weapon expert out. coming in! You know the drill. I'd say the same thing about the Hand of Thrawn trilogy, or duology, excuse me. Darth Baron. Is that big boy? That's big boy. Keep ignoring him for right now. Yeah, honestly, I'm really tempted to turn down the difficulty. Just to get this over with. This is not engaging gameplay. One more down. Ooh. 
next checkpoint. Take cover! I don't want to have to do the fight I just did again. I usually dislike auto aim, but considering how terrible the controls are, who knows? Maybe it'll help. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Designed for consoles, etc. Kill is fucking confirmed. Listen, we can't kill American soldiers. Heads up, sandstorms moving in. Just what we fucking need. Could be. Now dig Watch in out. and get ready. I'm down moving. Jesus, it's a hold the line mission, really. I got your back, Adams. Not the first time I've done this. Although usually it's Pax or Gary. They're not. Hold your shit together, Adams. We can take these fuckers. Once the storm clears, they'll be out in the open. Then they're mine. They fly open! Then they're mine. Well, we just killed a bunch of American soldiers. Okay. <laughs> I gotta actually question if that's some tone-deaf writing right there. He's a little bloodthirsty for someone who just... Oh, for Christ's sake, just started doing that. Come on. So how far back is our checkpoint? Yeah, I'd kind of like to beat this game. I still have to do a video on this, which I'm still not looking forward to. We got an on the hey, Final Harmony. Actually, I haven't seen it in a bit. What's going on? Whoop. Got the son of a bitch. Look, We've got movement. Got one moving. Reloading. Hey, blow up, Alex. And no, Mr. Red, not at all. That's one! Heads up! Sandstorm's moving in. Just what we fucking need. Could be. Like, now, dig in and get ready. I do think this is a well-crafted story in several ways, but in terms of games that make me feel that happen to be these types of shooters, I would put Modern Warfare 1 and 2 above this one. I will admit that's a little unfair, because I'm comparing it against some of the best modern shooters ever. But I only point it out because there's a lot of similarities in message and tone. What war does to people, the psychological effects, yada yada yada. Really? I am 100% going to beat this tonight. Striker heading our way. Get to that yacht. It's just... Watch your ass! Taking too long. Gotta reload! Watch my back! I mean, if nothing else, I can always skip the rumination. It is always an option. Oh, hello. Please, reload. Hey, Adams, you want to cover the knife guy who is literally in, the, in my face? 
stabbing me. Jesus, you are so worthless, Adam. Adams, you're on the heavy. Adams. No, I'm gonna keep calling you Adam as an insult. Because you're stupid. Heavy troopers fucking dead. I'll do a mini nation. This game sucks, yo! No, no, no. No, I'll do I'll do the room. I'll do the room. Just ugh. Get on with this, please. Got this son of a bitch. I do hope the job's been treating you well. Heads up, sandstorms moving in. The intro be longer. I mean, that's happened before. Hello, 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 hello. God damn, get behind cover. Don't animation lock me. But you're reloading. I don't care. Get the cover. Watch yourself, man. Moving target. Is in the open. One more down. Hold your shit together, Adams. We can take these fuckers. Once the storm clears, they'll be out in the open. Then they're mine. I love the camera sway while there's a storm. That's just... It's not nauseating or anything. Enemy down! Taking some heavy fire here! Walker! We got one out in the open! Yeah, the gunplay itself, if I was to use a word to describe it, I would use the word generic. It actually feels like if you just plugged in modern shooter into a program, uh, into a computer, this is what it would spit out, right? That's all of them. You feel better now? Not even close. Let's just get Lugo. Works for me. Get him on the radio, tell him we're clear. Yo, Lugo, you read? Adams! Adams! Oh shit! Lugo, what's happening? Fuck! I need help! I do have the in-game music on. I was gonna say, I thought we haven't turned it back off yet. Just stay the fuck away from me! Get back! Get the fuck back! Oh, there we go. We gotta move! This, I, I, uh... There we go! This <laughs> is, yeah, what the hell was that? Luco, you still there? Luco! She called that in the cutie! Why did you go to a refugee camp, anyways? You idiot. You fucking bastards! Run! No, you're, that is correct. I begin with the end of mine. Well, Lugo's dead. Or dying. The roof, fuck! Shoot the roof! Everyone back, now! Come on, Lugo. Get your ass up! You heard him! Back up! Right now! I said back the fuck up! Hurry up, Walker! Breathe, Lugo! They ain't taking the hit! God damn it, breathe! How's he doing? Answer me, Walker! Come on, Lugo! Is he breathing? Move back, or I will open fire! Damn it. These assholes ain't stopping, Walker! They're boxing us in! Damn it, Lugo! You better fucking pray he makes it. Let me take him, Walker. Sir, permission to open fire. No. Walker, give me the fucking word. So the quest objective is get the hell out of here. Now, I happen to know we don't have to shoot these people. Which is good, because I wouldn't. Fucking animals, get the fuck out of here! Run! I actually mentioned that forcing me to shoot civilian thing earlier on purpose, by the way. Because I happen to know it doesn't force you to there. Otherwise, I would be pissed. Yeah, now they give us options. When facing an angry crowd, which just killed one of our people and is trying to lynch us. And now they give us options. That's right. Run, you fucking coward. Uh, 
that. There we go. If you're listening, Colonel, here's what happens now. I'm gonna kill every last one of your men, and then I'm gonna kill you. Sergeant Lugo is dead. For that, I will give no quarter. You brought this on yourself. You okay? Do I look okay to you? What happened to Lugo isn't our fault. Don't tell me what I already know. Lugo's blood is on your hands, not mine. Bang. Conrad deserves to die, you know that. And what do we deserve? I think we both know the answer to that. So, how are we gonna do this? We still have a chapter after this. Oh no, God, we might not actually beat this game today. Let's go! I needed to really explain the overstaying its welcome thing. You know how every now and again I hit a point? We've talked about this before, because everyone has different moments at which they hit that point. See you Oxymoron. And, um... Every now and again we hit a point in the game where it's just like... I just want the game to be over. Right? You know that point. Now, not every game has that. Not every game has that, ugh, moment. Soldier in the open! Drop his ass! I just hit it. Like, just there. It's like, oh my god, this isn't even the finale. It's just... It's just the... Ah, let's go! Get back on the turret. That's not how that works. Don't even plan to mention them in the rumination, Mr. Red. Make that what you will. Who's next? I don't know what he just did, and I'm not sure I want to. But yeah, exactly, Final Harmony. Every now and again, a game just overstays its welcome. And this game probably should have ended about an hour ago. He's dead! Tear on, Jesse Ward. And thank you, as always, Fife. We don't have time for this shit! Come on! I will put that towards FF14. And no, I didn't have time, Zach Taff, I'm sorry. I was doing the audit of the, the queue on the website to make sure everything was up to date. Which, there was only two things off, but I, that did mean I had to manually go through everything, so it took me a minute. And that was pretty much my lunch break, was doing that. Hi, Adams! I didn't know you could teleport! That's not true, I did know that.
grenades. I've got all the grenades I need. All right, cool. Whatever. Don't let Delta reach that gate. Light him up now. Willie P. You know, this is going to sound like a weird statement, Itri. Imagine, if you will, for a moment, that at this point in the game, you... No. Like, probably... Somewhere... Oh, for God's sakes. Alright, Adams. I need to get out of there. Somewhere around the water section, you just start... Sakes. You start taking less damage. And, like, as you hit certain... If you were a better person, you wouldn't be here. Uh huh. So, and you start as you hit certain story points and certain checkpoints in the in the game, you start taking less and less and less and less damage until you hit this portion of the game. At which point you are actually taking no damage at all, right? I know that that would kind of defeat the the you know the challenge or the difficulty or whatever. But at the same point, I think the gameplay sucks anyway. So who gives a damn? And it would serve the narrative point of us just kind of uh, until we're just mowing our way through, like you say, Adrian, doom guying our way through this nonsense. Uh, He's going for it. If it did that near as us, honestly, probably. For God's sakes. I, ah, get off the wall. And I'm probably dead. Yep. You know what? I don't care about this game enough to not cheat. Let's see if we got anything, shall we? What do we got here? Because I, I don't. I don't care about the gameplay enough to not cheat. It's boring and dumb. Moving on. I was tired of it about five minutes ago. Pull this up. Pull this up. Anything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. Of course it doesn't work. Why would it work? That would be insanity. God damn it. Well, cheating is not an option. No, we still have another chapter after this, Nero's us. Oh, now you don't want to advance on me? In fact, I have two 
shots left. Hostile dead! this in case it messes with anything. Eh, this is actually worse than that, I would say, I drink from a ham. In my opinion. Stick it out! Yeah, exactly, Malachor. Dragon Age 2 Syndrome very specifically refers to gameplay that is fun, it's just too simple. That's the problem. I actually rather like the combat of Dragon Age 2. Unabashedly, unashamedly. It's just, there's way too much of it. actually kill someone, Adams? Like, is that possible for you, Adams? See, I prefer many of the gameplay systems of Origins over 2. But I will agree that the, the actual core combat itself was better in 2 than it was in 0. Or O, oh, or however you think of that. This is, uh, interesting. Okay, let's do this, first of all. Let's do this! Oh, that's, that's loverly. No, looks like he's still alive. Did you just disobey an order? <laughs> That's actually funny. Damn it! I gotta reload! Uh, wanna run, buddy? Over. There's a lot of people here. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, this is kind of silly. Language, man. 
Jesus. They're just shooting you. See, I wouldn't agree with that, Dr. Winter. I don't think Dragon Age 2's combat was made simpler. If you actually think about it, so, okay. The encounter design was simpler. And I will actually agree with that. But the combat itself was actually expanded upon. Dragon Age Origins had bar, cooldowns, resource, that's it. That's combat in Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age 2 barely changed that up, but it did change it up enough to be something more interesting. Smaller skill set, more rotating cooldowns, and more of the moves that has uh, positional stuff to it, right? By contrast, Dragon Age Origins has a substantially more complex encounter design. That is true, Nero says. Everything I'm saying is wrong and dumb and stupid. Ignore me. Maybe. That's another one! Dragon Age 2 also accomplished one thing Dragon Age Origins didn't, which I could say very firmly right now, even though I haven't played 2 since the lore run. Dragon Age 2 managed the aesthetics of combat much better. Something we talk about a lot, usually when it comes to shooters. You need to make your combat flashy, interesting. Listen, what they're doing is their business, and I do not care. I just that's that's on them, okay? I don't care. Gotta reload! Watch my back! You'd say not a good time for it, but I mean honestly, isn't this the best time for that? Anyways, aesthetics is really what budget. There needs to be oomph. There needs to be sound design. There needs to be visual design. It needs to be fun to shoot your guns, to use your spells, to swing your sword. Right? Uh, it's, it, this I think this first came up on our show when we were covering Doom Four, which it really, really manages that very well. By by contrast, this game does a terrible job of, job of making its guns actually fun and interesting to use. But that's something I think Dragon Age 2 did a pretty good job of. Shit! Another fucking enemy tank coming, goddammit! Hugo! You out of your fucking mind? You left me to die! Shit! Open fire! Don't you get it? It's all a lie! No! You no fucking hero! I tried to save you! The only villain here we should keep is you, moving. Walker. He'll be on us soon. There's only you. I did what I had to, Lugo. I did what I had to. I'm a hero. Yeah, Halo's another excellent example. I think it was actually Halo 4, which I know isn't exactly the best one gameplay-wise, but you remember the sniper rifle in Halo 4? That's aesthetics when it comes to gun design, right there. That was awesome to fire. On your feet! We gotta move! Jesus. Walker! Damn it! I gotta reload! So there's Adams, there's Walker, there's Lugo. They killed Lugo! Somehow they know that. On the move, cover me! Eyes on his shotgun now! Heavy troopers, fuck it!
Well, Nero's as was correct, Dr. Winter. I can't really state with accuracy right now. But I will say that by memory, even though I enjoy Dragon Age Origins very, very much, I have always found the combat more enjoyable in Dragon Age 2. Not the encounter design. Not the leveling. Just the just the combat. Hostile is down! And yeah, do dead placement. And yeah, I've already given it actually. Kind of. Who's ready for another massive shootout? It is over! We have you surrounded! Lay down your weapons! Fuck you! Just shoot me! I'm standing right here! Come on! Secure the building! Shoot me, goddammit! Fucking shoot me! This is your last chance, Walker. Surrender, or my men will cut you down. Don't you dare! Well, fuck you then! I didn't come this far to surrender! It's the only way inside that tower! The fuck's sake! Give it up! The mission's over! We fail! Not while I'm still breathing! Fine! Then keep breathing! <laughs> Run, motherfucker! Adams is done breathing. To say the least. Gameplay-wise, not really, Pika. Bad quest design, bad overall design, bad map design. Combat wasn't really engaging. The removal of heals really made Inquisition worse, in my opinion. I'm sorry, Walker. But you knew it would end this way. <coughs> Your friends, dead. The world on fire. And you, alone. <coughs> You're a failure. <coughs> Finally, something we have in common. Yeah, no, I, I I don't think that was actually a sacrifice. I think Adams was tired of breathing. And I don't blame him. I would agree, though, that I'm not even going to mention Adams in the rumination. And that's probably the biggest insult I could give him. Should be at the last chapter now? God, I hope we're at the last chapter. this camera. Chapter 15. Yeah, there we are. Cool. Hmm. Water. Captain Walker, we're all that's left of the damn 33rd. We surrender, sir. Dubai is yours. Where is Conrad? Where he's always been. Upstairs, waiting for you. I absolutely agree that this is a surreal story. It's... Part of the reason I feel like a modern military shooter was the wrong choice for this. Well done, Walker. You've done what the storm could not. Destroyed the damn 33rd. Do you feel like a hero yet? Please, come in. We need to decide what, uh... What ending we go for. 
Now that you're here, I want to ask you a question. What did you think when you arrived in Dubai? When you'd seen what I had done, did you think it the work of a madman? Yeah. I thought you'd lost your goddamn mind. Or I hope that's what happened. Oh yes. That would have made things easier. But I wasn't that lucky. You sure about that? I assure you. I'm as sane as you are, Captain. Deserve to stand for No matter how hard I tried, I never could escape the reality of what happened here. That was my downfall. There, finished. I hope you like it. What the hell is going on? Your eyes are opening for the first time. It hurts, doesn't it? Go on. What do you think? No, Zach Taft. You did this. No, you did. Your orders killed 47 innocent people. Someone has to pay for your crimes, Walker. Who's it going to be? I'm going to officially give a negative for the camera. I've been debating it the entire time, the entire game. It's not just nauseating and irritating, it's actively ruining cutscenes. Like, uh, come on. <laughs> John? Is that you? You tell me. I'm done playing games, John. I assure you. This is no game. Option one. We successfully escaped Dubai, and that's the end of our life, and we probably spend the rest of our life either in a maximum security prison, or we are executed. Option B. We attack the people who are here to rescue us, and they kill us. Option C. We kill ourselves. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. This is actually not the original plotline. Something that was added in mid-production. Worked out surprisingly well, though, with few changes needed for the story. Go figure. It seems that reports of my survival have been greatly exaggerated. This is impossible. Oh, I assure you, it is. How? Not how. Why? You were never meant to come here. We have our orders. Leave the city, radio command from outside the storm wall. They send in the cavalry, we go home. What happened here was out of my control. Was it? None of this would have happened if you just stopped. But on you marched. And for what? We tried to save you. You're no savior. Your talents lie elsewhere. This is your fault, God Stop damn it! Stop right there, Lugo! He wouldn't listen! We didn't have a choice! He turned us into fucking killers! This isn't my fault. It takes a strong man to deny what's right in front of him. And if the truth is undeniable, you create your own. What the hell happened? I don't know, he just stopped moving. Walker! Snap out of it! I get it. We have to choose. The truth, Walker, is that you're here because you wanted to feel like something you are not. A hero. Lugo! You left me to die! I'm here because you can't accept what you've done. It broke you. Colonel? Colonel, please. What's going on, Walker? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. You needed someone to blame. So you cast it on me. A dead man. I 
know the truth is hard to hear, Walker, but it's time. You're all that's left, and we can't live this lie forever. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. You're not real. This is all in my head. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. What? No. Everything. All this. It was your fault. If that's what you believe, then shoot me. Two. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. No one ever does, Walker. Three. Not sure I agree with that. Choice time. What do you think? Oh, and also, Conrad's not been dead the entire time. He's just been dead for a, a bit now. Enough to start decomposing. Probably in the weeks to months range. But yeah, no, the 33rd absolutely factionalized. This is a warlord scenario. I... <laughs> My choice would be to shoot myself, but, you know, you know me. I'm not actually sure how to turn myself in. I think I just have to not shoot. Four. Is this really what you want, Walker? So be it. Five! Yep. Well, we're dead. Never mind. If you notice, the gun at the last mill is like, it's very quick. It actually, our gun does this and we shoot ourselves in the head. And we're turbo dead. The end. Hang on, hang on. I'm curious to something. You are still a good person. Piss off. Yeah, I'm not sure what's required to make that happen, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, killing the hallucination is absolutely not something that would occur to me as the method by which to procure the regain your sanity option. That's, um... We surrender, sir. Dubai is... Huh? Where? Is Conrad where he's always been upstairs waiting for you? Let me in. Let me in. Please come in. Okay, fine. We don't regain sanity, but why do we shoot? Why does shooting him involve us turning ourselves in? I'm sorry, I do not see any logical connection there at all. When you'd seen what I had done, did you think it the worst? In fact. I assumed shooting him is how we commit suicide, which is why I didn't shoot, because you said, okay, we're turning ourselves in, so I won't commit suicide. But I wasn't that lucky. You sure about that? I assure you, I'm as sane as you are, Captain. Can we skip? Ah, no oh, thank God. John? Is that you? You tell me. I'm done playing games, John. I assure you, this is no game. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. I... You're not real. I'm sorry, I don't see that logic at all. Melkor, I'm sorry. I believe you. I believe you. Maybe it's in mine. If you hadn't told me, that never would have occurred to me. Everything. All this. It was your fault. If that's what you believe, then shoot me. Two. I would if you'd let me. I didn't mean that. Let me shoot him. Whatever does, Three. It takes a strong man to deny what he thinks. Stronger than you were. Whatever you say, Walker. No matter what happens next, don't be too hard on yourself. Even now, for all you've done, you can still go home. So now we can attack the people coming to rescue us. <laughs> We're not going to, but yeah. That's option two. What now, sir? 
Huh? The men are asking. What do we do now? We complete our mission. And what mission would that be, sir? Just get me a cut. Tim. Radio? This is Captain Martin Walker. Requesting immediate evacuation of Dubai. Survivors. One too many. Uh. What? Also, that sounds like I need to mute that. Ah. Oh, I can skip it. Oh, thank God. Be gone. Become the new ruler of Dubai. Commander, this is Falcon One. I think we found him. Captain Walker. He's armed. It's okay. Hold your fire. I don't understand. What's he doing? Look at his eyes. Something's not right. Shaky, 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 shaky. We are here to help. But first, I need you to lay down your weapon. He's not complying. He's shell shocked. Give him a second. Just oh, there we go. Me your weapon. Uh, there we go. Drop weapon. Okay. Had to figure out what the A button was. It's over. By the way, he has the Conrad vest on. Time to go home. And the end of your life. But that's okay, because you at least served one purpose in your death. The only reason I would choose this option, by the way, and I do stress the only reason I would choose this option, is so that he could at least share his story as piecemeal and badly constructed as it's going to be. You saw things. You don't mind me asking. What was it like? How'd you survive all this? Who said I did? Yeah, story told, let's go, right? That That's why. And that's it. That's actually Spec Ops the line. We crossed the line. Aw, oh, the flag isn't waving. Sadness. Oh, wow. That game was much worse than I thought it would be, to be completely honest with you. Whew. Okay, okay. Gameplay-wise, gameplay-wise. Because, yikes. Oh, all right. Um, gameplay positives. You know, I, I, I feel like I have this thing called the audit sheet, which helps me to think of things like here. Yeah, this is going to sound strange, but... So that was the first time I've ever seen that ending. I knew it was coming, of course. You ever have one of those things, good night, Dietrich, you ever have one of those things where people talk up a certain scene in a, in a work of fiction, like a lot, and you're like, oh, well... That sounds awesome. And then you actually see it, and it's not... Like, it, it doesn't have the impact, right? Um, it's always presentation, is specifically what I'm talking about. It's it's like, it's just kind of deflated. It doesn't really have the oomph that you were expecting from it. Like, logically, it, it's, it's one of the things where intellectually you get it, but emotionally it's like, and? And that's kind of how I feel right now. It's like, okay... That was a weirdly constructed scene. The, you know, the big reveal scene. Not super impressed. Huh. 
Probably not. I drink from him. He is part of Spec Ops. And, I mean, the CIA already had its eyes on the situation, so... Alright. Gameplay. I'm gonna call the enemy AI a wash. I don't think actually think it's negative worthy. It is absolutely not positive worthy. So we're just call it a wash. Animations were not particularly interesting. There was no audio spam problems to speak of. Uh, there's none of that, there's none of that, there's no backtracking, there's no best train, there's no bosses, there were several bugs. I don't think that's negative worthy. It was mostly just no builds, no built-in cheats, cameras is just whatever. There's no choices, no co-op controls. Suck. <laughs> I would agree with that. And um, so let's let's see. Let's go with. Well, actually, I should put. I'm sorry. There is actually one bug we are giving a negative for. That's the fact that it never acknowledged the fact that I was using a mouse and keyboard all the way till the end. Okay, control. So we've got um, movement, aiming, and cover. That's three control negatives. Core combat is whatever. Core mechanics don't really apply. There's no cosmetics. There were no crashes. The difficulty curve actually was pretty linear. The game never really got any easier or harder. It was just always the same thing. Difficulty options. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to call that a wash. Scroll forward a little bit. There's no durability. And counter rate is whatever. Encounters are not particularly well designed, but again, I'm not sure that's a negative worthy. Enemy variety. So we have knife guy, gun guy, and armor guy, and I believe that's it. No fast travel. Graphics were generic. There's no grind, no guidance, no hub, no HUD of work, notes, no integration, interface was eh, intro was eh, itemization. Well, turret guy can be anybody. I'll give you a sniper guy and RPG guy. I was thinking of sniper guy and RPG guy as gun guy, but that's valid. Oh yeah, and then helicopter. Woohoo! <laughs> It's not getting a plus for enemy variety, I'm sorry. That's... Hmm. To go back to the game I keep comparing this to, Modern Warfare 1 will very likely not get a plus for enemy variety, for example. Modern Warfare 2 will debate. Well, Shotgun Guy is Gun Guy, again. I'm debating itemization because it's one of those weird ones, right? Where enemies drop their guns. So there's more or less an infinite array of weapons to get from enemies, but it also means effectively constantly swapping guns and it's not really all that interesting to do so and kind of irritating, especially since you might accidentally swap the wrong gun because the way the combat's designed, which happened to me twice. No. I don't think it's negative, but I'm, I'm going to give that one a wash, too. There's no kit to speak of. Yeah, because the guns aren't interesting. That's why there's no kit plus. Uh, level, stages, lighting, penalty for failure, scroll forwards. Map. There's a map of this game? Mid-mission checkpointing. Meh. I mean, it could be argued that the guns not being good in a shooter is more bad than normal. Yeah, the checkpointing it did have... There were some good checkpoints periodically, and then there were some bad ones, and it's just... 
I'll probably I'll probably just wash the checkpoints. It's just See, now I'm disagreeing with myself. I'm sorry, there's co-op in this game, Melkor? To Google. Give me a minute. I know the multiplayer mode, the actual multiplayer mode, is terrible. Like, it's threadbare and not interesting. So here's how co-op mode works. You don't get to play the, pick the map you want. You just get to pick the difficulty level. Um, they throw you into a random map with another player. You go through and shoot. There's 11 missions total, and then you're done. There's no achievements, no bonuses, no story, no nothing. Yeah, that's actually disappointing. I was really hoping that was like legit campaign co-op. It, it would be a good gameplay positive to give the game. I know, Plutonia. It still sucks. I'm going to be nice and not give it a negative. Because, yeah, this is just, this is absolutely bolted on multiplayer in both cases. So, chkunk. All right, got it. Moving on. Go on, give it aggregate for that. No mod support. No new game plus. Options are not good. Outro, from a gameplay perspective, is not good. I can't, in fairness, say the game actually has padding specifically, so I'm not going to give that negative. It has all the other problems with combat. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's scroll forwards a little bit here. Quality of life features. There's quality of life features in this game? Replayability. No. Uh, no respect. Save system is non-existent. Sound design was not good. They didn't use the terrain properly. No tutorialization to speak of. No, they did have skippable cutscenes. That's nice. None of that, none of that, none of that. Okay. No, I, I looked that up this morning too, Plutonia, while I was waiting at the doctor's office. Because I, I remember hearing that, and I always like to double-check my sources right before I do a run. Because I don't want to... The Zero was a girl thing, right? Everyone repeats the story that Zero was supposed to be a girl in Mega Man X. And then I looked it up, and it's not true. So I, so I actually did my due diligence on that one and looked that up and found exactly what you were finding, Plutonia. But, as I said earlier, I don't think I'm going to give that a negative. I was really debating here. Hit, hit refresh, Carwellis. I was really debating giving a negative for judgmentalism. Because it is clearly the intent of the devs to judge us for playing this game. But, in the interest of total honesty and fairness, which has always been my primary goal with these reviews, is to be fair and honest. I don't think I can actually ding the game for their attitude. You know what I mean? Now, if you disagree, feel free to try and argue me down. I, you guys have changed my mind about pluses and minuses plenty of times, so feel free to toss me some thoughts. I think it's a crappy attitude to have, and it's why I've avoided this game for like, what is this, like 10 years now? Something like that? <laughs> no, seriously. I, so, this is funny, because I've been asked before, Lore, why haven't you covered Spec Off the Lines? Why haven't you done something with it? And I've basically never answered the question fully, 
Most people just assume this wouldn't be my kind of game because it's too depressing or it's too dark. No, 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 no. This, this game, <laughs> this game pissed me off because of the writer, because of the developer, because of the ad that attitude. That's what pissed me off. I didn't even know about the gameplay issues until, you know, today. So what we dinged Warcraft 3 Reforged for was nothing, I think? I actually don't remember. But we do have a concept where we will ding a game for a really, really bad launch. We did that with Cyberpunk, for example. Which I don't think applies here. But that's usually as far as we go with that kind of a thing, Dream Whisperer. Now, see, that's valid end. Now, I don't agree. I don't know, obviously. But, again, the most fair thing I think I could say is not giving the game a negative for that. It's as fair as that could get. I mean, after all, I haven't given this game any gameplay positives. Oh, my writing is extremely dark, Corp Core. I hope you watched the Link to the Past uh, uh, theater, because about 60 or 70 percent of the dialogue is stuff I've written. Anyways. <clears throat> One second, Dr. Witt. I'm not ignoring it. I just want to lose my train of thought here. No, gum gum. I mean, it's obviously Heart of Darkness inspired, but no. Yeah, inspired by, that's a good way to put it. Inspired by, yes, actually Heart of Darkness, no. Anybody who's read, anybody who's read bleh, Heart of Darkness will look at them and be like, nah, no. So, Dr. Witcher says, it's negative worthy. Done! That's all the convi- No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Mm. Yes, Malachor. I would love to give you, I would love to give you the statement, and I'm going to say this in the rumination, this is a crap game with a good story, and I know the score is leaning that way, but honestly, I don't feel particularly enriched or interested having gone through said story, <laughs> you know? Let me walk that back for a second. Have you ever seen Saving Private Ryan? I know that's a cliche, but hear me out for a second, okay? There are fictional works out there which do a really good job of doing what this game was trying to do. Zoom the camera in on the personal, individual, human impact of conflict, war, etc., right? Um, this, in my opinion, didn't do a very good job of that. I know that sounds strange, but it's because of exactly what Sierra Mike has brought up several times now. I want you to imagine a scenario for a second here. Bear with me. I should bring this up. I'm going to write this down. I'm going to bring this up. I want you to imagine that there's a group of specters in Mass Effect, okay? And I want you to imagine that they're really elite, super powerful, super awesome, and they go through a rather strenuous day and come out the end of it, you know, just, just raging and yelling and screaming and just dissent and, oh, God, everything's horrible. And that's, and they just get, they get mulched up and spit out, right? Now, you see the problem there, right? 
the mere framework of your story defeats its purpose. The purpose is interesting. If this was a story about, I know this sounds like such a strange statement, but if this was a story about a random civilian who decided to pick up a gun along with his two buddies, sold. And I mean that. We would have to re restructure a few things and the Conrad thing would have to go away. But my point is someone, you know, a, a, a more or less normal person who goes through this, an ordinary person who doesn't have that kind of training, who doesn't have that kind of specialization, who doesn't have that emotional s stability, who doesn't do this kind of thing as his day job, going through this and just, ah, right? The other thing, yeah, time would be the other thing that would make this work if this occurred over the course of a much larger period of time. Yeah, it might even work for more low-scale military. Um, you know, fresh recruits, maybe? Or, you know, people who've never actually seen combat? That's a thing, right? Y you get my point. The structure of the story defeats its point. Defeats the thematic core within it. And it's a shame, because I do like that thematic core. Credit to Nolan. I've, I'm giving a separate plus to Nolan. To, to Nolan North for his voice acting, because he does a wonderful job of it. But I feel like the overall approach to it is just... It's funny you... So, it's funny you bring that up, Lieutenant Leroy Jenkins, because... Snake, from Metal Gear Solid 3 is a perfect example of why I don't buy this story. Snake went through, let's be honest with ourselves for a second, worse than this, over a longer period of time. Now, yes, he didn't come out of that without scars, but my point being, he never got down to this level, right? He never got to the point of yelling, screaming, breaking down completely, you know, murdering someone just because of sheer rage, right? Now, changed, yes. And the knowledge he walked out of, I'm not going to spoil, but the knowledge he walked out of Metal Gear Solid 3 with certainly founded the rest of the franchise. But you get my point. Yeah, or Captain Price is actually another example. I hate, I, I'm trying really hard not to keep comparing this to the Modern Warfare games. <sighs> but thank you, Malachor, very much, as always. Much obliged. Much appreciated. You know where we want to put that towards? Anyways, point being, I'm kind of talking my way into a negative here, <laughs> and I'm going to give it. I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. <sighs> Jedi, Jedi Outcast, you got it. Done. I feel like you've already done that recently. <laughs> It is a big negative. I could easily be argued into give, into pushing this into two negatives because it effectively pulls down the entire plot and theme of the game for me. You know what? Yeah, two negatives. Done. Now, before you think I'm too harsh... Okay. Woo! Oh, avoided that argument. Thank God. I'd have to justify myself there. What? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. This is still going to be a very net positive story. So, so don't judge me too harshly. If anything, try to... As, as much as I am coming down on this hard, and I am, it's partially because this is one of my only real complaints about the story. It is a huge complaint, that's why I'm giving it two negatives, but I'm trying to explain why this doesn't hit for me in the way that I feel like it should. I feel like, you know what I mean? This I feel like this game should have more impact than it does. I feel like I should care more. I feel like it should be just more of a, oh my god, instead of just, okay. 
Now, you could argue that's because I knew it walking in. I would disagree, because I have demonstrated many, many times that just knowing something's happening doesn't lessen its impact for me. I demonstrated that just a couple of days ago with, I'm not going to spoil, the scooter scene in Tales from the Borderlands. I knew that was coming. I cried on camera! So, no, I, I don't I, I don't go for that. Um, sorry, I'm looking something up really quick. Give me just a second. Four eleven. Okay. I think that's it for gameplay. I, I've, I've looked over this a few more times, and I, I can't think of anything else gameplay-wise. Excuse me. So a net... Negative nine. <laughs> to gameplay. That is awful. Oh, all right. Let's 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 switch to story. Let's... Ooh, wow. Okay. That is awful. It was, though. This game sucked to play. I'm sorry. Ouch! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's also true, I drink from him. Okay, 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 okay. So, animation. Um, yes. So, this is going to be a weird one to give, but I think the animation absolutely adds to the uh, story, the narrative. All I have to say is the execution animations as you get further into the game. I know, right, Carwellos? I'm telling you, if this was a Telltale game, I'd be all over this. Even with the big issue I have with the narrative. Uh, atmosphere and tone? Yep. Definitely on that one. I actually already gave that one. Um, no Babylon 5 effect, really. Background lore? Mm, banter. Definitely gave that one. That was a good one. Branching narrative? You're funny. Camera work. Uh, that's the negative. That's the other negative I gave. I I don't know what the hell they were doing with that camera. Characters. So... Let's see here. The cameraman was <laughs> just just couldn't keep the camera steady. I'm really torn on characters because on the one hand, Walker Walker would be awesome if he wasn't a Delta Operator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give it. I think I'm gonna give a character pause. Let's do this. there so we, we will give the plus to characters um what characters walker and conrad that's it um i don't think i'm gonna give a negative to wisecrack guy he is deliberately irritating but they don't shove him down our throat as much as it should be so yeah he, he does his purpose he's there so you hate him and then you cheer when he gets shot in the head cool uh what are you talking about? There's only Walker, Carwellas. There's only Walker. Cinematics. No. Consequent storytelling. No. Cutscene incompetence. <laughs> I'd like to argue that, but no. Dialogue. Eh, no. Dude ads. Yes, gave that one. Agreed. Care white noise. To be completely blunt, I think Wa uh, I think Nolan North is what kind of dragged Walker up to being two positives. I, I mean, I know one of them's for voice acting and one of them's for the character, but I stand by my statement. Oh, absolutely, Dream Whisper. Uh, let's see here. Empty text, no. End game, no. External continuity, no. Fake drama. Fake trauma. There's only one scene that I would qualify as fake drama. And it's right towards the end when Adams just has a go at us for no particular reason. And it's only really just a smattering, you know. I don't think I'm going to give a negative for that. Foreshadowing. Ironically, no. 
It could have been foreshadowing. I was paying attention for it. There wasn't any. Um, humor. <laughs> uh, internal continuity. No. Intro. You know what? I'll give you the intro. You could say the hallucinations were foreshadowing. You could also say the white flashes were foreshadowing. I would disagree with both statements, but you could say that. Now, like, let me give you an example of something they could have done for foreshadowing that they didn't. I was paying attention to the radio every time they showed it off, the one that had no batteries that he was listening to Conrad on. They never show you its back throughout the game, up until the end when they finally show it. But yeah, the intro was actually pretty legit, so I'll give you that one. Um, lighting. Visualization, mission, scroll forward a little bit here. Moments. I did give the Willie Pete scene of my positive, and I stand by it. Music direction. No. Um, outro. Outro. Okay, outro. This is in my debatables category. So I know my thoughts on this. What do you think about the outro? Hold on, move forward a little bit here. Giving a plus for plot. Giving a plus for sound design. Uh, giving a plus for the storytelling mechanics of the physical descent. Giving a plus for the themes. I'm pretty sure I did that. No, I didn't do that yet. Visual storytelling, yep, gave that positive. Voice acting, duh. And that's it, okay. So back to outro for a second here. Yeah, see the thing is, you, you know me, I know I've said this a thousand times, I'm always harsher on intros and outros than any other part of a game. The requirements, the bar is always higher. And my thought would be to give this one a wash, because there's some good elements there, and the reveal certainly is interesting, but it doesn't quite land the way it needs to, and the actual final ending is just lackluster. Both of them are. The suicide, the suicide by soldier, and the getting away with the soldiers. All of that's just kind of, uh, it's deflating balloon, right? Now, you could say that's part of the point, and it's not like I want some big heroic action-y ending. It's just I feel like there's no emotional core to it either. Yeah, I do agree it tried. It's just I don't think it landed it. That doesn't make it a negative, because it does enough well to push it up into into wash territory for me. My opinion. If they had if they had landed it basically if they had landed each of those points, yeah, with it. But as is, I think we're gonna call it a wash. Um themes. A, a, a good point, Dr. Winter. Themes. What I'm trying to wonder is, are the themes, because there's several, uh, something that add to the work, right? And yeah, that's it, it, I'm so torn on this for the reasons I already discussed. You know, like I said, I feel like the construction of the story hurts its themes. That's, that's ignoring the judgmentalism thing, which I'm just going to kind of let slide... <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm what's wrong with humanity. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's all on me. My bad. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, yeah, I've, I've had people mention three separate themes in chat just now, and I agree with all of them. I'm just debating if it adds to the narrative, if it, if it makes the story better, if it increases the enjoyment thereof. That is the definition of a story positive. I don't think it's a negative. I've already given those two negatives. Listen. I was human once, loner. So that, so that, we're cool, right? Like we're... Okay, cool. I can't, I, I can't, I can't give it a positive, I'm sorry. I don't think it works. I don't think any of them work. Uh, actually, yeah, my Kamano, although that's going to take a huge amount of time and resources. And cybernetics, don't worry, I'm working on it. I don't think I can give it the themes positive. We did give that, we did, did give that. I think it's everything. Double checking my notes. Atmosphere, parks. Oh yeah, I should actually put that under... Uh, background, background, there it is, right there. Boop. There we go. But I'm a hero, dust fighter. Because I'm handsome Jack! Who did it better? I should say that. I should say that. I'm going to compare this game to three, four other games now. And not pause it. God, my comment section is going to be just, just a toxic fire. It's going to be very willy. With that, that leaves us with a plus nine. Oh my god. Plus nine to story, negative nine to gameplay. I don't even have to do the math because I know exactly what that golden number will be. Anybody care to guess? Zero. I've already discovered this and it's something I actually agree with. I, I debated this for a while. But anytime a review gets a net score of zero, a total score of zero, it doesn't matter how much I multiply that by anything or whatever, it will always equal out to zero because that's what happens when you multiply anything by zero. Golden number, zero. <laughs> now that's not bad <laughs> because zero is middle of the road. That's actually the whole point of the system. If it went into the negatives, that would be bad. And I was actually kind of worried about that with all those gameplay negatives we were throwing out there. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a standard good game is about 40-ish. That's something I always say. Yeah, I know, Mike Tomato, there's not really... Again, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that result. It's just, that's how it is. Uh, what's 21 divided by 60? Do we have any zeros in the golden number right now? Hang on a second. We do! Diddy Kong Racing and Assassin's Creed Unity. And you know what? That, that, that works. I'm with that. Because, well... Diddy, Diddy Kong Racing is almost the exact same problem this game has. Everything it does right is counterbalanced by something it does wrong, right? So. Spec Ops, you could put that on the box. Spec Ops the line. It's as good as Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna go ahead and put in all the numbers, but just in, on the off chance I'm wrong somehow, but I'm like 90% certain this is gonna be a zero. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, why is it... Uh... 
Why is it doing that? Oh, right, because I have to do that manually. Boop. There we go. Yep, yep. Zero! <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I'm done, I'm done. I'm gonna, I, gotta, I gotta go figure out what the hell to say about this in a pre-recorded video. Tomorrow... I, I don't know what the hell we're in for tomorrow, but it's Far Cry New Dawn. So spoilers for Far, Far, Far Cry 5, first of all. But second of all, I hope at least some of you will join us for that. Um, it's also a relatively short game. It'll probably be a two-day game. And it'll be a lot more third-person shootering, and sh or maybe it's first-person shootering. I don't know. I haven't played a Far Cry game in forever. Uh, but that'll be starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as usual tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll see you there.